Chapter 10 of The Mandalorian is well known for giving us our first live-action look at the creatures currently known as Ice Spiders. Based on some Ralph McQuarrie concept art for The Empire Strikes Back, there's a decent amount of information to know about these creepy crawlers, so let's take a look. A lot of this information is technically from Star Wars Legends material, specifically the book The Wildlife of Star Wars A Field Guide. Eckert Slatter has been doing a really great job of staying on top of the creature designs in The Mandalorian and noted that a lot of inspiration is coming from that book. Lucasfilm creative art manager Phil Shostak confirmed that they have been using the book as reference, and I wouldn't say that means everything in it means it's true now, but it's all fun, so let's look at it. The wildlife of Star Wars claims that the spider was actually a fungus of sorts, the spore of the gnarl trees that grew on Dagobah. I guess it's kind of like an extreme version of a Venus flytrap, a carnivorous plant that can move and spread. They could lay eggs to create more spores, but when they were large enough, they would plant their limbs into the ground to set down roots and grow into large gnarl trees themselves. A similar but different creature also appeared in the second season of Star Wars Rebels on the planet Adalon. White spider-like creatures called Krikna attacked a rebel base when they sensed that their territory was being invaded. While they were also based off of Macquarie's concept art, they have different designs and characteristics. For example, their shells were far more resistant to blaster fire, and the ice spiders were far more easily damaged or killed. But I do think it's interesting that the knobby white ice spiders from Chapter 10 of The Mandalorian did seem to share the same territorial instincts. The eggs didn't hatch and no spider attacked until the child started snacking on them. I'm somewhat skeptical that these ice spiders are going to one day become gnarl trees, though. I have a feeling that they'll wind up being similar in design only to Macquarie's art and the Legends Wildlife Guide. But still, it's interesting to see these creatures continue to pop up in Star Wars, and maybe we'll learn even more about them when the Mandalorian Visual Guide comes out next year. Until then, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.